Home Studio. Um, today I'm going to take you through a short lunge and warrior flow sequence. Um, it's going to be short, it's going to be around 20 minutes. Um, and this one you could combine with other practices, some of the other videos that I have um, available for you. Or you could just use it alone if you only had a short amount of time and really just wanted to squeeze a yoga practice into your day. Um, so let's begin. We're going to stand at the front of your mat. Take your feet about hip width distance apart. Just roll your shoulders back a couple of times. And at this point, we want to bring our attention to our breath. So just breathing in, lower into the belly, soften and widen. So breathing down. And as you exhale, begin a squeeze, a hug in and a lift. You're expelling the air up and out. So just a couple of slow breaths, maybe rolling your head from side to side as well. And then soft through your knees. You're going to take an inhale, just unfurl the arms to the sky. Maybe look up here. Bend the knees a little more as you exhale and dive down towards the floor. And from here, we're going to hold a couple of breaths. And you might like to sway very gently from side to side or pedal the feet. Just bend one knee and then the other. Allow the head to be heavy and maybe continue to roll or loop your shoulders back and down. And then from here, let's take a deep breath in. Fingers it to the shins for a moment. We're going to create nice long spine. So focusing on elongation through this one. So we're creating kind of like an upside down L shape with our body. Take one more breath in here. And exhale, folding forwards. Fingertip to the floor. Let's step back one foot and then the other to your downward facing dog. And we'll hold this position. As you want to have a sense that you're stretching out and awakening through the backs of the legs. So you can add any kinds of movement here that feels good for you and, and natural and authentic for your body in this moment. Continuing to shift your attention to your breath. So at this point, we want to start to integrate the breath into the body and slow the breath down, particularly giving emphasis to the exhalation. All right, so from here, let's bend both knees. Bend both elbows too if you can. We'll take a breath in. Exhale, round your spine. So we're waving forwards. You're lifting from the front of the pelvis and low front belly as you come forwards towards a high plank position. Once you get to high plank, let's hold. Take a breath in. Shoulders back. Hold. Exhale. Now release the knees here. Take a breath in. And exhale will come all the way down. So pubic bone touches first and the ribs and the chest. So we're laying on the floor. Let's take a breath in here. Exhale, rolling up or waving up into a cobra pose. So elbows in, shoulders back. Keep pointing the toes back. Let's inhale, hold. Exhale, just stretch, twist a little bit to the right side. And then to the other side. And then we'll come back to center. Inhale, exhale, release. And shift back, child's pose. Just a couple of breaths. Hips down, you could point the toes back here and really sink the hips. Just a, a little moment to transition here and counter stretch the spine uh, from that cobra pose. And then we'll come from here back into downward facing dog. From downward dog, just take your right leg up to the sky, just straight up. We'll bend the knee and start to open the hip a little bit. So you're trying to keep that standing leg nice and straight. You're sending the hips back. One more breath. And then that right foot comes down. From here, holding, but take your left hand beneath you and grab a hold of the outside of your right thigh. Maybe the right shin or even down towards the right ankle. And we're twisting. So we're looking underneath that right armpit. The breath is still slow and smooth and deep. One more breath, trying to anchor the heels towards the floor. And then we'll place that left hand back and do the other side. So left leg comes up this time. Left leg up. You maybe want to rotate from the ankle. We'll bend that left knee, take the left foot up and over to the right. We're stretching out the front line of muscle here as you really open that hip and try to extend that right heel down. Try not to compress into your shoulders though. So shoulders are floating up, away from your ears. 
left foot comes down now and again we'll take that side stretch so you begin to walk the right hand beneath you take a hold of the outside of the left leg maybe even slide it down towards the back of the heel the back of the ankle strong fingertips here on the left hand to support your wrist maybe looking underneath the left armpit last breath and then we'll release both hands to the mat back to downward dog from here let's bend the knees bend the elbows look forwards take a breath in and exhale you can either step walk or hop your feet to the front of the mat so feet are together now inhale here long spine exhale let's bend the knees and come rolling up to your chair pose utkatasana so arms reach high let's inhale here exhale come up to stand we're going to keep this fluid so we'll breathe in reach up exhale way you down fold forwards bend the knees as you dive halfway lifting inhale exhale come rolling up back to chair arms reach high on the in breath we reach up exhale waving down lengthening so halfway lifting breathing in exhale step back or maybe jump back to downward dog if you jump just land with bent knees from here bend the knees bend the elbows inhale exhale a roll or a wave forwards to a high plank position pause take a breath in optional release your knees or exhale chaturanga so elbows come in you keep the shoulders at elbow height take a breath in here exhale rise up into cobra or maybe this time upward dog so a little higher lifting the thighs shoulders back stretching up through the crown of the head let's take a breath in here and exhale shifting back to downward facing from downward dog let's step that left foot a little bit closer to the right so like the midline of your mat float the right leg up take a breath in and then exhale, we'll bend everything, your elbows, your knees, hug that right into your chest as you come forward. I call this core plank, core plank one. We're gonna do three of these. Inhale, back to three-legged dog, right leg up. Exhale, come forward, knee to chest, and lift. Core plank two. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, come forward, and this time we'll lunge, right foot to the right thumb. Pause here for a moment, take a breath in, long spine. Bend the back knee as you exhale, come rolling up to your high lunge. Arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, this time fist to the navel. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fist. Two more of those. Breathing in, you can straighten the legs. Exhale, last one. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, take the arms up. Let's exhale, take the left hand down. Can you stay the tips? You could use a block too, or, or a book, or something. Right hand is lifting. Yeah, so right hand is lifting, let's breathe in here, reach up and maybe look up. As you exhale, circle the right hand back and bend the back knee. Inhale, reaching forwards and up, and maybe start to straighten that front leg, optional. Exhale, bend as you circle down. So keep this flow, keep this rhythm, where inhale's very expansive. Exhale, coiling in, couple more. And exhale, last one. Breathing in. And this time we'll take that right hand all the way down and you find your downward dog. If you want, you can take three-legged dog here. So that right leg comes up and over. A couple of breaths here, sending the hips back. And then you return to your downward facing dog. Let's take the second side. So left leg comes up this time, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, when the elbows hug that left knee to your chest this time, core plank one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, come forward to core plank two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come forward. This time, we'll lunge, left foot to the left thumb. So come up onto your fingertips, give a little bit of height here through the arms, and we'll inhale, lengthen through the spine. Bend the back knee, so you're pressing down, then rolling up on the exhale to your high lunge. Arms reach high, inhaling. Exhale, fist to the navel. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Inhale, fist. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. Arms reach up now. And then we're going to take the right hand down. So to the floor, to the inside of that left foot. Left arm is lifting this time. So breathe in here, reach up. 
Breathe out as you circle back and down, bend that back knee. Inhale, reaching forwards and up. Exhale, bend. A couple more, so we're straightening on the inhale. Exhale, circling back and down, one more. And then this time, left hand comes down. We're gonna step back to dog, or three-legged dog, just to stretch it out. Let's come back to downward facing dog and just pause for a moment. Take this opportunity to catch your breath. One more breath. And then we'll bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Feet to the front of the mat. So feet come together. Let's take a breath in, lengthening. Maybe fingertips to the shins for you. Exhale, waving down, bend the knees. Inhale again, long spine. Shoulders back. Exhale, come rolling up this time to the chair. Pose, inhale, chair. Exhale, coming up. Let's breathe in, reach up. Exhale, waving down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Downward facing dog. We'll pause for a moment here. Just take a breath. Deep breath in. Exhale, out. Let's bend the knees. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, you round the spine. So you're lifting the top of your spine up towards the ceiling as you transition forwards. High plank. Let's hold high plank. Optional drop the knees. We'll hold. Breathing in. Exhale, coming down, either all the way down the cobra or you hover in low plank. Let's pause, breathing in. Exhale, you rise up from the bottom of the spine to the top. We're going to hold cobra, inhale. Exhale, release and shift back down when facing dog. Now from here, let's take the right leg up. So three legged dog, we'll inhale here. Exhale, knee to chest, come forwards, lift, lift, lift through the hips, and then we'll lunge right foot to the right thumb. Let's breathe in here, lengthen the spine. Bend the back knee as you exhale, come rolling up. High lunge, arms reach high, let's inhale. This time, arms and torso flowing over that front leg, right leg. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, take the arms back. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Last one, breathing in, and exhale. Now take the arms forwards. We're gonna come up onto the tippy toes of that left foot. Yeah, the toenails. Yeah, so it's pressing all your weight into that right foot. And then let's inhale, come back and straighten. Exhaling, coming forwards. Again, breathing in, reaching up. Exhale, coming forwards. Last one, inhale, lift and straighten, exhale, maybe this time we can fly, reaching up, so you're setting back through that left leg, reaching forward, warrior three, one more breath here, and then let's take our hands to a prayer position, Anjali Mudra, and we'll step the left foot back, so palms come to prayer, begin to turn or twist to your right side, we're keeping this Vertical spine, so you're lifting up through the crown of the head. And then we'll expand the arms this time. So arms in opposite directions. Now, right hand's going to reach back. You can either come to your sacrum there, the back of the hips, or towards the back of the right thigh. We'll float this right arm, sorry, left arm, back and down, and then reaching back. So we're maintaining this lunge and the side stretch. Couple more breaths, you're reaching back, back, back. Smooth, deep breaths. And then we'll spin from here, hands to the floor. This time, drop the right knee, sorry, the left knee. So used to mirroring, and my, my languaging is always reflective of, of mirroring to my students. So the left knee is down. We'll start to straighten the right leg. Yeah, so half split. You're rolling the shoulders back, you're offering the heart forwards, and we're breathing, slow and deep. And then keep the left hand down. Again, you can use your fingertips or fist or, or take a block. Right hand is going to come up. We draw the right arm up. We're reaching up, looking up. You could even take a bind here, wrapping that right arm around your back. And then right arm comes up. From here we'll look down, take that right hand down. And slowly begin 
to walk your hands forward. So we're drawing the chest forward this time, looking forward, and we're stretching out through that left hip flexor. All right, let's tuck the left toes and shift back to downward dog or three-legged dog, that right leg comes up and over. Very good, so both feet are down. We're back to downward dog. From here, take the left leg high, three-legged dog, let's breathe in here. Exhale as you come forward to that core plank, you bend your limbs as you travel forward, and then we straighten, back leg and the arms. Let's lunge, left foot to the left thumb, we'll breathe in here. Bend the back knee as you exhale, come rolling up. Rolling up, rolling up, rolling up to your high lunge. Breathe in as you reach up. Exhale, arms and torso flying over that front left leg. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one more of those. Breathing in and breathing out. As you come up this time, arms come halfway up. We're going to slowly start to shift our weight into that front left foot and just come onto the tippy toes of the right foot. Very good. And then let's inhale, release, stretch and straighten. Exhale, come forwards. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale. This time, can you come forwards and maybe float, fly into your warrior? Worry three. So we're reaching out through the fingertips, you're pressing out through that right foot. Couple more breaths, a little bend, a little softness through that standing knee. Hands come to prayer. We'll step back to your high lunge, hands to prayer, and then we begin to twist to the left. We expand the arms here, opposite directions. Reaching back with the left arm, reaching forward through the right arm, and then we'll come into your kind of reverse. We'll drop this right arm back and down. Keep it nice alignment through the shoulder. Reach, reach, reach. Last breath. And then we'll spin hands to the floor. Drop that right knee. And slowly move into your half split. So you tenderly start to straighten that left leg. It doesn't have to straighten. You might want to keep it bent the whole time, that's okay. But focusing on keeping this length through the front spine, length through the back spine, and just waving forwards or over that front leg. A couple of breaths, holding, and kind of marinating into that left hamstring. From here, we're going to take right hand to the floor, fist or fingertips. Left arm comes up this time. Another side stretch and a twist through the spine. Uh, your choice here is to keep the left arm up or you wrap it around your back. So you grab somewhere around that right hip. Okay, left arm's reaching up. Both hands down. Come forwards now, slow, slow, slow. I'm going to come onto the top of that right foot and just stretch it out. Shoulders back, you're opening through the heart space there in front of the chest. One more breath. And then shifting back to dog or three-legged dog. And just opening up. All right. So it's summer here at the moment. Actually, it's almost Christmas. It's so hot. So hot in here. I'm melting. And it really tells me, you know, how much we're working in these just simple the powerful movements, lunge movements. We're using a lot of muscles at the same time, so we're generating a lot of heat, so it's really great for cleansing and detoxing and getting a bit of workout of a workout while we're weaving these practices of mindful awareness. So let's continue. We're almost done. We're going to do one more lunge series. And just bring all of your attention to your breath and the bodily experience that you're having right now. What are you noticing? What are you feeling? Who are you being? when you're in this flow, when you're in the poses. So let's come back down with facing dog. Remember, this is your time, and this, you know, is really should be the, the cornerstone, cornerstone of a healthy self relationship. So you can go out into that busy, big world and give your best. All right, so 
good. From here, let's bend the knees, bend the elbows, inhale, take a breath. Exhale, step or float, feet to the front of the mat. Halfway lifting, breathing in. Exhale, waving down. Bend the knees. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, coming back up, chair pose. Arms reach high, inhale. Exhale, come to stand. Keep it flowing, breathing in, reach up, maybe go back a little bit. Exhale, diving down, waving chest to thighs, hands to the floor. Breathing in as you take that halfway lift, shoulders back. Exhale, step or jump back, downward dog. From downward dog, let's bend both knees, bend both elbows, inhale. Exhale, coming forwards like a wave, we roll forwards to your high plank position. High plank, let's inhale, hold. High to lower, exhale. Pause, breathing in if you can. Exhale, rising up, cobra or upward dog, or hold, inhale. Exhale, shift back, downward dog. Left foot steps a little closer, right leg lifts, inhaling. Exhale, come forward, knee to chest. This time, let's touch right into the right elbow. Right knee to the left elbow. Right knee back to your chest, but spin to the outer edge of that left foot. Right knee to the sky. Take the right arm up. If you want, you could take that right leg up. If that's too much, right foot to the floor. So somewhere along that spectrum of possibility, you find what works for you. Okay, so mindfully place that right hand back down. Right knee to chest, we're back in core plank. And then we'll lunge right foot to the right thumb. Take a breath in here, lengthening. Bend the back knee, let's exhale, come rolling up. Arms reach high, let's inhale. Exhale, just flow with the arms. So keep the torso nice and tall. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bend the back knee on the exhale. A couple more, breathing in. And exhale, last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms reach up. This time, exhale, right forearm to the right side. So left arm is lifting out. We'll breathe in here. Breathe out. Just one circle. We're going to circle the left arm down and up. And let's wrap that left arm around your back. So you're going to take a half bind. Maybe look forwards. You can take that right arm forwards. So we're pressing down into the feet. Lifting up through the belly. One more breath. Keep the half bind as we come into a half bound reverse warrior. That right arm reaching back. Breath or two here. Stretch, 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 stretch. And then let's spin. Hands to the floor. This time drop the left knee. We're going to walk right foot to the left thumb. Actually closer towards your left hip. Just want to make sure that we're Supporting and protecting, nurturing, being kind to that front right knee. So half pigeon, let's send that left leg back. We'll lift up here. A couple of breaths. And then coming forwards and down. So forearms to the mat or palms to the mat. You could take your head to the floor, your head to your hands. Maybe make a pillow out of your two stacked fists or even a block. I love me using a block for this one. So we're trying to relax the shoulders. Yeah, relax the shoulders, soften through the hips. Notice of any tendency to hold tension in your face, the jaw, the eyes, and just use that awareness and use your breath to help dissolve any tension that you're sort of building and manifesting. A couple more breaths, see if you can lengthen forward a little more through the spine. All right, so slowly come up to your hands, take a moment here, and then tuck the left toes, and we'll shift back again to your three-legged dog, so that right leg comes up. You can shake it out if you want. Then we'll come back to downward-facing dog. All right, second side. Let's take the left leg straight up. So you inhale here. Exhale, bend everything as you come forward to that core plank. We'll draw left knee to the left elbow, left knee to the right elbow, left knee back to center, and then we spin to the outer edge of that left, sorry, right foot. The left knee is to the sky, left arm's reaching up, maybe stretch.
straighten both legs. Again, you always have the choice, the option of modifying, of backing off by taking that left foot to the floor. A couple more breaths here. Reaching up, reaching up, expanding out in all directions. Okay, left hand comes down, fingertips touch first. We'll draw the left knee to your chest and then lunge left foot to the left thumb. Pause here, take a breath in. Bend the back knee and exhale, come rolling up to your high lunge. Arms reach high, breathing in. Exhale, just flow with the arms. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Little opportunity to reconnect to your breath. Yeah, we need these pauses in those strong flows to create a little more of a sense of calm. Last breath here. Arms reach up. And then we ground the back foot. Take your left forearm to the left thigh. So we're in a side angle warrior, Parasva Konasana. So the right arm is reaching up. Let's inhale here. Exhale, circle that right arm down. Forward. Take it up. Inhale. And this time wrap that right arm around your back. So drain back through the top ribs. Strong through that right thigh. Reach the left arm forwards, maybe looking forwards. And then we'll release back into that half bound reverse warrior. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Try to maintain that lunge. One more breath. And then we'll spin hands to the floor. And set up now for your half pigeon hip stretch. So we place the right knee to the floor. Start to shuffle or walk your left foot towards the right side, towards the right hip, really. See if you can send that right leg back, lifting up out of the pelvis. The spine here is nice and tall, nice and long. You're trying to create space and length and openness. So we're not compressing down into the vertebra, but rather lifting up. All right, and then come forward and down. Forwards and down to your forearms maybe, shoulders back, you could come a little bit further, arms reaching out in front of you, or you rest your head on a block maybe, or your hands, find something that you can tolerate, that you can manage, that you can sustain, and, and invite this sense of surrender, of releasing and relaxing into this Situation. So we're using a calm breath, using these tools of um, awareness, self-awareness, to help dissolve tension and release resistance. So if you're feeling pain somewhere in the knees, perhaps, then it's usually a good, clear indication that um, you need to adjust, you need to adapt so that it can suit your body. Pain is not something that we... Um, from work, if you like, in yoga. We don't have the no pain, no gain rule. Um, we want to, in this style, uh, be challenged and, and present, you know, ask a little more of our physical body in order to change, in order to transform, in order to grow and sort of move into the next level. So challenges present the opportunity for growth, evolution. All right, so let's come back up. Lift, lift, lift. Point the right toes, and then three-legged dog. The left leg comes up, we're gonna shake it out a little bit. Come back to your feet. Downward dog, you're gonna drop the knees. Point your toes back, slide your palms back. And just finish here with a moment of Mindful awareness, moment of meditation, reflection. Roll the shoulders back, maybe close your eyes here. You might like to take a simple mudra, a simple hand gesture. By the fist, core strength mudra to the knees. Or I really like this one, it's very simple, but very effective way of, of calming from the nervous system. So one palm to the heart, space one palm to the navel. It doesn't matter which hand, just really whichever one's comfortable for you. And just take a moment here to breathe into those places, chest and the belly. To shift your inner gaze, your awareness to the movement of breath. To feel, really feel what's going on for you. To invite calm. 
and, and to really take a moment to flood your, yourself, your, your body, with, with gratitude. So just spend a few moments here, a few breaths of being grateful, of awakening to this appreciative heart. And just call to mind all the good things, all the blessings, all the freedoms, all the opportunities, all the abundance that you already have in your life. And you can hit pause here and, and, and practice this meditation of gratitude for three to five minutes. And I'm going to close here, palms to prayer. Take a moment to bow to you, your inner guru, your inner teacher, your inner wisdom, your inner strength, your inner beauty. 